Hey everyone, if I'm squinting a little bit, it's because before I stare myself in the eye and it really hurt and now every time I look out the window at the light, I'm like, ugh. That aside, today I'm finally doing my Milani first impression. So if you saw my recent drugstore affordable haul, I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it yet. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a first impression on this and so many of you said yes, please. So today I am doing it for you. And I'm going to kind of compare it to my last first impression, which was my Clinique 2-in-1 concealer foundation blah 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 foundation this is it here the beyond perfecting foundation i liked it i didn't love it it wasn't terrible it wasn't amazing i'll let you guys watch the first impression down below but the reason i'm kind of going to compare it to this i'm going to still like to start as its own you know thing but i'm just keeping it in mind because they look so similar so i thought yeah i'll see if this is meant to be a dupe or something otherwise yeah we're just going to see how good it is or how bad it is hopefully it's good because it's really really affordable milani is such a good brand I actually love so many of their different products. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands. Milani reminds me a lot of like NYX and you know companies like that. Like it's very affordable. It's easy to get online. So this is called the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. And this shade here is in Light Beige 03. I'm currently drinking this smoothie and it tastes like garbage. I can't remember the last time I made a smoothie that tasted bad, but this one, not the best. But I refuse to waste it. Alright, so on the bottle it says medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof, which sounds incredible. And the packaging I think is really, really pretty. It's just in a glass kind of bottle. It's like an ombre black to foundation color. And then the cap comes off and there's a little pump in there as well. So as always, I'm going to prime half my face so we can see if there's any difference. I'm just going to use one of my favorites, which is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I'm just going to apply it to the side of my face. Face. This is a nice hydrating one because at the moment my skin feels a little bit dehydrated still. I think it's just this weather. I need to do some more like moisturizing face masks. In New Zealand it's like freezing cold lately. It's so dry. I'm so looking forward to summer. <sighs> So hopefully this foundation color matches me. I did have a look at it before. I like unwound it. If you unwind it, you can see the color. Um, and I had no fake tan on. So what I did was I just put on a little bit of that shimmery loving tan products that I used in my fake tan tutorial. I'll put the link to that down below. It's just like my fake tan routine. But yeah, that shimmery product I use is what I'm using today. I'm just using the dark shade. I think it's the dark one, the middle shade. Um, so hopefully it kind of matches. It kind of looks like it will. So Fingers crossed. All right, let's have a look at this consistency. I'm so scared it's gonna squirt out onto my white top. Oh, it's very thick. So that there's two pumps. Yeah, it's really, really thick. And but when you pat it out, it's really nice and like slippery. <laughs> like it feels like it's gonna be quite easy to blend. Like it's really, really smooth, I guess. Yes, yeah, smooth. Okay, anyways, I'm just going to take a little bit of this product I'm gonna do the primed side first. Hopefully this isn't too much. The color looks really good, honestly. Like, this color here was kind of like a total miss for me, which is my own fault, but it did adapt by the end of the day. I'm gonna use a clean, flat top face brush, Bake So Beauty. All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna start by like kind of stippling it. It's so thick. It smells like good. Kind of like lemon or something. That could be totally wrong, I don't know. This is so like full coverage. I feel like it's got more coverage than the Clinique one. I feel like this would be better applied with a sponge possibly because it is so thick. Like this is just kind of like smearing it into a thick layer on my skin. So I'm really buffing it out. Like I have to really, really, really rub it in. Yeah, it smells kind of good. I don't know if I'm imagining it. Maybe it's my brush. Does my brush smell good? I don't know. The color is almost perfect. It might be like a half shade too dark, but I feel like we can get away with that. So I'm just stippling over that same area just to make sure there's no real thick bits because it is kind of hard to blend. I feel like a better technique for this foundation because it's so thick would be either um, a round top brush where you can buff it or else just a sponge or something like that or your fingers if you like fingers. This brush is working, it's just taking longer. Okay, so on the prime side, it blended out nicely after a while. Okay, I'm just going to apply the product straight to my brush this time on the unprimed side. Definitely easier to blend on this side, but I don't know if that's because of no primer or just because I used less product. It looks really nice. I actually really like the way it's looking. 
So yeah, two pumps covered my entire face really nicely. I don't even feel like I have to build up the coverage. Like it's covered pretty well. It hasn't covered up redness of my breakouts and you can still see a little bit of redness peeking through on my cheeks, but it's nothing major. Like I'm happy with this. Actually, for the sake of the review, I'm just gonna take like another half pump, a really small amount, and I'm just going to see if it's buildable over my redness down here. Okay, it definitely builds up nicely, but it does look a little bit heavier on the skin, so keep that in mind. Also, I definitely think it's oxidizing a little bit. I'm just noticing now um, with the fresh product, it looks less orange than the product that's on the rest of my face. So yeah, it's definitely oxidizing a small, small amount. Like if I just put a little bit, I'm just wasting product now, but if I put a little bit on my hand or like you can even see between the product on my hand definitely oxidized quite a lot it's kind of going orange oh no the color was so good when i first applied it and now it's like orange face <sighs> no milani why you do this to me so i just went ahead and did a couple of flash test photos just to test out what it looks like under flash photography and to be honest i feel like it looks better under flash photography because it kind of hides the fact that it's bright orange on my face it's so weird like this color started out well and has now gone orange whereas the clinique one started out really orange and went a little bit better throughout the day i'm going to put on concealer and powder and stuff and we will see you know if i can help fix the color so i close it actually looks really beautiful it's got kind of like a natural glow finish like the finish is kind of like a demi matte finish it's so pretty actually up close and the product has glided so nicely over my nose sometimes my nose can look really gross with foundation but it looks really smooth however over my pores i feel like it's a little bit i don't know too shiny over those areas like it kind of accentuates my pores i'll zoom you in so you can see i hope you can see but just like in here like i just feel like it's a little bit too glowy and it just kind of like shows off every Every single pore um, which is not ideal obviously it actually looks really really pretty apart from the pores like on the rest of my face the finish looks really beautiful I'm just gonna feel my face okay the prime side feels so much less sticky the unprimed side like feels proper like sticky tacky by the way it's orange on both sides of my face not just the primed side it's just oxidized everywhere really really quickly yeah it's kind of even accentuating like the pores in between my eyebrow like every little lump and bump i don't know hopefully once i set it with powder it'll, it'll look a little bit better so let's do that now i'm gonna use my la girl pro conceal in porcelain which is a really really pale pale shade oh the sun just finished overall like even though it kind of accentuates my pores up close from far away it actually looks really beautiful beautiful like my skin just looks smooth and healthy with a natural kind of glow to it it's just when you look real up close and look in the glowing bits where you can kind of see every pore i don't know i don't mind it too much and if i was wearing this like from now on i would probably use like a pore filling primer like pore professional or something like that just to help kind of mattify the pore areas i'm also just going to put a little bit of this concealer on my chin and forehead just to kind of lighten up those areas since the foundation is just a little bit too dark i have high hopes for this still like i feel like i can still pull it through once i um set it hopefully the pores don't look so bad by the way, I'm just using an angled face brush to blend out all of- oh no, I lost an eyelash to blend out my concealer. I get real like cut up whenever I lose an eyelash. I'm like, no, stay there. No, it's natural, but it still makes me upset. Okay, now I'm taking my Shade and Light palette and my Shimmer Tulip brush with the yellowish color and I'm going to mix in a little bit of this color here because I'm pale-ish today just to set my concealer. And then on the rest of my face, I'm taking MAC Studio Fix in C2. This is a little bit lighter just to hopefully kind of correct the color imbalance. So I am happy. The color looks pretty good now, especially once I contour and bronze and everything later on. I feel like it'll match me pretty well. So regardless, remember it does oxidize. Um, I made it work, but it took a lot of effort. <laughs> and how it looks now, the pores are not as noticeable, but I feel like the actual finish of my foundation is a little bit cakey. Like I feel like it really gripped on to the powder. It's not the worst thing ever. Like to be honest, I don't really care that much because normally I would just use a bit of a setting spray and it helps to kind of take a lot of that cakey appearance 
fence away but I'm just letting you know I'll zoom you in so you can see hopefully you can see in this kind of area here it just looks kind of thick overall from far away I like how it looks it's just when I look really really close I'm like ugh. setting spray would definitely solve a lot of these problems anyway it's 11 a.m. so I'll come back in a few more hours and I'll update you and we will see how it goes hey everyone so I've done my makeup now I love this makeup look there'll be a tutorial coming soon if it's not up already oh I'm so happy with it anyways um, I thought I'd do an update it is now 1 30 so it's only been on for a couple of hours but I just thought I would give you an update I did notice that even though I set obviously both sides of my face with powder this side still feels a little bit sticky so yeah I feel like a primer might be necessary I don't know why it just reacted way better with a primer in terms of like setting properly sticking to my face properly and just I don't know just is better yeah the side like I don't know it's like sticky and tacky and gross anyway um so the way it looks it definitely does look a little bit cakey close up but from far away I feel like it looks so good sorry if you can see little lines all over my face it is a reflection from something on my desk I don't know where it's coming from um yeah I feel like from far away like through the camera and everything I feel like it looks beautiful it looks stunning it just looks smooth even the finish is beautiful it just looks good it just looks flawless full coverage like I feel like these look very similar once they're on your face they both have a very similar kind of finish and similar coverage and everything once they're set so yeah anyway so far so good I'll come back in a few more hours hey everyone so it is now 5 30 almost it's 5 20 so it's basically been on for like six and a half hours I think is that 11 yeah anyway a little update I've noticed a few times passing by a mirror taking the old selfie up close in certain lighting it just literally makes my skin look like it's full of holes it's like now that the powder and everything's kind of settled as well it's once again just showing off every single pore on my face and I don't consider myself to really have um, problem pores like for the most part they're not a big problem for me and I don't really notice them that often but up close it just yeah it's not the most flattering from far away once again like I'm really happy it looks really beautiful and like look at it on camera it looks nice I think it just has definitely sunk into my pores throughout the day so if I were to continue to wear this I would 100% use some kind of pore filling primer like I said earlier but uh yeah that's my update so far in terms of it fading or anything it hasn't really like it is lasting really really well if anything I feel like it's only faded on top of my breakouts a little bit um it hasn't caked up any more than earlier it still looks a little bit cakey up close though but yeah it hasn't gotten worse it's just stayed the same um it's wearing really nicely apart from the pore situation so yeah i'll come back again later oh i just realized i've got spinach in my teeth hey guys so it is time for my final update it is 9 p.m so if i put on 11 that is 10 hours wear and it basically it still looks identical i feel like this compared to the clinic has a little bit better lasting power it's just that i feel like the clinic wasn't as bad as far as pores and everything go like you can see on my skin like it just looks quite I don't know you can see every little like bump of texture it's really clung on to it and at this point it kind of looks a little bit more cakey so it hasn't faded at all um, but it, yeah it looks a little bit cakier and it just continues to sink into fine lines and then it's like caked up all over this little area of bumpy skin just in here if you can see I'll zoom you in see in here like the skin texture is just so obvious and around my nose like the pores are just like ridiculous but yeah it hasn't faded like this is all still covered so beautifully it hasn't really melted too much around my nose which I often get which is really impressive so the pros it's got really nice coverage I think it looks beautiful from a distance not quite like up close up close it looks a little bit you know it's a little bit difficult to blend but not too bad definitely works better for me with a primer and it does show pores and it does look a little bit cakey especially after a while it gets a little bit worse so overall I would still say to give it a go because of the price like it's got some really good pros in there it looks beautiful it's great coverage and everything um and I would love to try it out with a setting spray and a pore filling primer to see how well it looks on top of them I definitely don't think it's awful like I would still happily you know go out and about looking like this so apart from the cakiness and the pores like I like it apart from that and apart from the fact that it oxidized that really sucked but as you can see like now like it looks fine I just had to spend quite a bit of time you know making sure I blended it really well down my neck put on powder and all of that kind of stuff hopefully once I actually have like a little bit more fake tan the color might match a little bit better anyways so overall like is it better than the Clinique one I feel like 
they're just as good as each other really like they've both got pros and cons like I didn't hate this I just wasn't like blown away it didn't perform for as long as I would like like it didn't last for as long as I would like but it did look really gorgeous on the skin the color was really strange though whereas this one lasted incredibly it's just like up close and personal it doesn't look as good from far away it looks really good so definitely check out this review as well if you want to see it but yeah if you've got a little bit of spare cash and you want to try something new could be worth picking up because you never know it might work really well for you if you have tried it out make sure you leave me a comment down below let us know what your skin type is and let us know what your review is on this product so we can get a few more reviews circling around this video I actually saw a few comments of people saying that they hated this and then I saw other comments of people saying it was like their holy grail so it could definitely be worth trying out but of course make sure you search some more reviews first I hope this video helped you guys out and if it did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up that color difference though <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys in my next video Bye. And make sure you check out these other two videos on the screen right now. If you're on a computer, you can click the screen or else they will be listed in the description box for you down below. The video on the left is my birthday makeup tutorial, like what I will get ready with me. And the video on the right is a Korean makeup and beauty and skincare haul. I hope you guys like them.